Palo Alto Networks just reported their earnings and the stock is up by about 10%. They're currently trading at about $231. In the most recent quarter, they grew their revenue by about 26% to make about $2 billion. And for the full financial year of 2023, they grew their revenue by about 25%. Palo Alto Networks also gave good guidance for the fiscal year 2024. They're expecting a total revenue between $8.15 billion to about $8.2 billion, which represents a growth rate between 18 and 19%. And they also shown strong billings. The total billings will be in the range of $10.9 billion to about $11 billion. And that represents a growth between 19% and 20%. Adjusted free cash flow margin in the most recent quarter is between 37% and 38%. With respect to the number of outstanding shares, on a diluted basis, they have about 342 million outstanding shares as of financial year of 2023. Previously, I've done a few videos on Palo Alto Network, so I'm not going to repeat the information that I've covered in there. Instead, I'm going to move on to the valuation to show you the upside. As usual, I'll show two cases, one with reasonable assumptions and the other one with great execution. Let's first look at the case with reasonable assumptions. As you can see on the screen, in 2022, they made about $5.5 billion of revenue. With respect to growth rate, I'm assuming 20% year over year for the next five years. Remember that they are guiding for 18 to 19% growth for the fiscal year 2024. Cybersecurity is an important theme for this decade, and I'm confident that most of the companies in this sector will grow in double digits, and Palo Alto Networks being the leader can continue 20% year over year growth for the next five years to make about $13.7 billion of revenue in 2027. Remember that fiscal year of 2024, they are guiding for about $8 billion of revenue. So I'm assuming that they will add another $5.5 billion of revenue in the next three years. With respect to net profit margin, their gross profit margin is in the order of 75% plus. So I can comfortably assume 25% net profit margin with which they will make about $3.42 billion of net income in 2027. With respect to multiple, I'm assigning 27.5 based on their growth rate and net profit margin. People can assign higher multiple like 30 or 35, but I'm comfortable assigning 27.5. The market cap in 2027 would be about $94 billion. Like I said, if you think they deserve a better multiple, you can apply the same. With respect to the number of outstanding shares, as I said before, they have about 342 million outstanding shares. They do give stock-based compensation and it will continue. I'm assuming 1% dilution year over year for the next five years. With that, they will have about 359 million outstanding shares in 2027. When I divide the market cap of $94 billion with 359 million outstanding shares, I get a stock price of $262. But wait, currently they are at $231, right? So that's about 13% gain in five years, which is not attractive. Now move on to the great execution case in which I'm assuming 25% revenue growth rate, which is hard to do, but possible. And I'm giving a 30 multiple and the same dilution with that. The stock in 2027 would be about $350. Currently they're at $231. So that represents 52% gain in five years in a great execution case. So that's also not too attractive for me. Alto Networks have close to $4 billion of cash, cash equivalents and short-term investments. I could consider that in the valuation, but when I looked into their total assets minus total liabilities, that's only $2 billion. So I cannot completely give credit to their cash, cash equivalents and short-term investments. So that's why I've not considered them in this valuation. Conclusion, at $231 stock price, I'm not seeing good upside with Palo Alto Networks. So I'm going to stay sidelines with this stock. Let me tell you that I'm an investor in Fortinet stock, which is a competitor of Palo Alto Networks. So let me show you their valuation with similar assumptions. They're also as big as Palo Alto Networks. They also made close to $5 billion of revenue for the past 12 months, right? So with 20% estimated growth rate for Fortinet and also 25% net profit margin and a 27.5 multiple, the stock price in 2027 would be about $106. Currently, Fortinet is at $57.95, so that represents an upside of 83% in five years with reasonable assumptions. So that's why I'm an investor in Fortinet, and my average cost is close to $60 at the moment. So I'll continue to add to my Fortinet position, and between Palo Alto and Fortinet, I prefer Fortinet. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for watching.